Hello everybody, Platinum Dan here, and today we're going to be trying Rise of the Slime. I've recently platinumed Slay the Spire and Returnal, and I've been really getting into roguelikes at the moment. Some, one of the genres I've never really looked into or played before, but um, I'm really quite enjoying them. I do have some content on Returnal if you wish to take a look. The runs were far too long though. Um, to record everything, but I'm hoping to make a bit of a series on this game. I um, I just typed in Google games like Slow the Spire, and this popped up, so I thought I'd give it a whirl. Um, I've no idea what's in store. All I know is that it's a deck building game. Um, so let's get started. Let's have a go. Oh, good. You are conscious. Welcome to the void, friend. This is a place where your past does not matter and your future does not yet exist. We have chosen you as our hero for a glorious task. The Keeper of Castle has lost vitality and monsters are running berserk. We shall grant you a new life and the class of an adventurer, so you are able to evolve. Go. Do good deeds and make the land free. And then... Make it bow before you. Go now. Right, okay. The yeah, others are locked, so. Regular deck, 11 regular deck cards, bonus card. Choose one of three bonus starting cards. Next. Choose a bonus starting card. This will be added to your base deck when you start this run. Quick stab. Deal 3 damage to an enemy. Shield break. Remove 8 defense. Or discard peak. Select and draw any one card from your discard and perish. Let's go for quick stab because it doesn't cost anything. Your road begins entering the world. Oh, that's pretty cool. Slushy, what am I called? Slushy the Great. I quite like this art style, it's very um very cute and adorable. Okay, I'm guessing these are the like the rooms at the bottom then. He's running off. Combat. Encounter. When in combat, rotate through the cards from your hand and play them on your enemies. Your mana detects how, dictates how many you can play. Okay. Enemy intent. Look at the icon above enemies. Swords mean they will play aggressive cards next to your turn. Shields mean they will play defensive cards. Okay. Backstab. You can use your movement cards to move behind an enemy and then backstab it for double damage. Works with sword, blade, and melee cards. All right, that's a cool, um, cool idea. Additional info: you can see additional info on the top right-hand corner. 
Shaw's current max strength limit. Shaw's pet summon limit. I don't know what that is yet. And three shows your deck size. Yep, okay. Okay, so I'm guessing we have to move towards them to attack them. Two movement points. And then... Stab him. He's got a shield anyway, so there's no point... Um, Using any defense here, so we'll just go for another quick stab at zero cost anyway, and we'll end turn. No, just for going through the basics. Okay, so he's got two defense, so we need six to kill him. So if we do a back, we could do a backstab. I didn't want to move two there. Can you not go back? Darn. Okay, never mind. Let's just defend here now then. I wasn't sure if you could just move one or you had to move both. I'll try that again. Um, right, let's see if we can move behind him just using one. Ah, you can. That's good to know. Okay, so this will kill him. And we got a bag stop. Victory. Pick one card to add to your deck or skip them to continue without picking a card. Okay, what do we have? Teleport to any on screen location. Add one parasite to hand. That could be good. Push enemy one tile away from you and reduce strength by four. Let's take blink. Because um, that could come in handy with a backstop double dabbing, you see. Onwards we go. Oh, what's this? Stronger. Gain one strength at the start of combat. Stacks. Get mutation. Okay, confirm. I'm really liking this art style so far. Okay, so they're both shield, so we'll move. So if we do rusty sword to him. And another rusty sword.
could have done with a teleport, yeah. Um, they're both attacking. So if we move back to... I don't think they can reach us here. And hopefully we'll draw the um, teleport card next turn. Oh, dagger throw. Must be a ranged attack. Yep. That's okay. Okay, we got it. So let's teleport to behind this guy. Nice, we earned a draw for there. Um, there's our parasite in our hand. Card cannot be played. When this is discarded, take four damage. Okay. Well, now we have double damage on this guy. That gets rid of his car, um, his health. Okay, another blink. Limit break. Increase max strength cap by three. Perish. Throw a dagger that deals two damage ranged. Okay, we'll go for limit break. So this is we've got the um, strength relic. I'm guessing at the start of each battle, so that'll that'll um, be good for that. Gain mana. That's going to be helpful. Spire shield, add 10 defense and 1 strength. Okay, let's go for the spire shield and strength. We'll go for a strength, a strength build. quite a lot of health already so it might take a bit of getting used to this game. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't move anywhere. Oh dear. I thought I was supposed to. I thought I was supposed to gain a strength on. Um, on every combat. Uh, never mind. I don't got one with using the shield, but. One enemy down. Okay, so he's attacking here, so he's going to move closer. Right, it's shielded now, so I'll go in for the attack. That was a good turn. Nicely done. Onwards we go. Fifty percent chance to return your defence. I'll take the heal card here. Special rift. Walk up to any special rift and enter to transport to a mystery room. There is no turning back. Special path or shop. I'll save the shop for now. Special path. Garden, when you see something sticking out of the ground, try pulling it out. Okay. Nice. 
upgrades. Oh, pull these out first. Turnips. Okay. 700 to upgrade your mana and 300 to upgrade your health. Okay, let's have a mana. I think it was just gain, you gain strength, one strength per turn, but it does say it's stacked, so I'm guessing if, if that, if you get another relic, it would, it would stack with that, rather than add one on each time. Okay, so I'm going to heal first. Move towards the sky. Quick stab. And... Shield from the fire, dude. <laughs> fire stack burns targets at the end of the turn and is reduced by two until. Fire. Reduce fire stack on self by six. Or we can just can we not just teleport? Okay, so we're still on fire. Get that strength built up, and then we'll play a rusty sword, which will be double damage from the backstab. Mm. Okay, that he's gonna get quite a bit of a nuisance, isn't he? So. I might be best off taking him out first. Draw cards, hopefully I get some attack cards. There we go. Rusty sword. Quick stab. Get sort of him. And we'll do a shield. I'll have to f use Fizzle next turn.
These enemies got quite a lot of health to say it's early on in the game. At least he's not doing too much damage. Um, oh, we've got quick stab here, so we can get double. If we just keep moving behind him and get double attacks. That was a good round. A nice shielding, so we've no need to defend. Okay, 15 to kill him. Let's see if we can get him out of the way this turn. Okay, yep, we can do that. There we go. Lovely jumper. Burning blood. Lose one health, add four fire next turn. Transform one to earn to fire ranged perish. Burning rage. If you have a fire stack, add two strength. If stack is bigger than ten, add four strength. Small shield, add defense. One defense. Hmm. See, we don't have any fire, other fire cards, so that's no good for that. I'll take the free defense, I may as well. Cost nothing. Um, what's this one? Um, another heal. Wonder what these green dots mean. Does that mean you've got, you'll have two of them, or is that upgraded or what? These green dots in the corners. Your defense is not removed on your next turn for one. That's a decent card. I'll take that. Ah, uh, see what it means now. So now, because this is the second time we've well, done it. Oh, there's one on the other side. Let's see. Come back. Rain's strength minute by three. If you end your turn on the same tile you started, otherwise. No, I think we'll go with a stacked strength. So now we'll have two at the start. Makes sense now. Oh, checkpoint. What's this guy? Upgrades. Oh, Let's have a look. Petal grades. You need to have an active familiar. Following you, interact with the altar and upgrade your familiar. You pick them up along the way or unlock them when you die in the graveyard. Okay, that's cool. We'll see what that is about then when we die. Which is probably going to happen soon. A rift. Let's go. Question room. Be a random thing on it. Plenty of money.
burning steps. When exiting a tile during combat, turn that tile to fire. Lovely. Oh wow, okay. 40, 23 and 34. It looks like they have buffs as well above them, but I'm not sure what they are. Okay. Um. Attack in, shield, shield. I was hoping for a spire shield here. And then we can rusty sword. Right, looks like right, we can pick these up and bounce them, so I'll try and get rid of this guy. That'll do. Add one defence for free. Let's blink. here and then move back to and leave two fire things Okay, let's see how that goes there. Ah, oh, we're going to take better damage from the Parasite. Okay, they're all slowly killing themselves with a poison. So, um... Let's just use this, build up a better defense this round. And let them keep killing themselves. So we should have four defense next turn as well.
Okay, he's poisoned us now. Great. Use, I don't want to kill these for a while, so I can always use that in a couple of turns. Okay, if I detoxify, deal six to him and move away. Okay, so I want you go down towards the left of the screen. I don't if that I don't if that square's got poison on it. I need to move away because I'm being backstabbed. Let's just risk it. Ah, oh, that's cool. No, there's no poison on that, but I'm gonna lose. Eight. No, I'm gonna lose seven here from my parasites. Plus whatever they attack. Ouch. Oh, and I've got a fire damage as well. It's not looking good, guys. Could well be perishing here. Oh dear. Oh, we've died. You have been defeated, but your soul remains intact. Proceed to the cemetery or return to the last checkpoint and try again. 
Okay, let's end run. I shall call it a day there for the first episode. Because I'm near my recording time anyway. So, that was Rise of the Slime. We got a couple of trophies on the way, so that's good going towards... I've not really looked at the trophies yet, so that's good going towards the next Platinum. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. and Give us a thumbs up and a subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you. Goodbye.